It's important to raise awareness about the Yukon because there's just so much potential, so much opportunity. The story of the Yukon uh, over the last number of years has been very strong. We're seeing a lot of majors coming into this jurisdiction. They're starting to invest and there's so much competition uh, across this country, but even globally. There is much about the Yukon that is just simply not understood at all. Basic bedrock geology is sort of mapped, but not as well as it should be. And then the underground, where all the minerals are and all the good stuff is, that's extremely underexplored as well. There's a century of exploration and development ahead in the Yukon. The Yukon is a treasure house of minerals, truly the minerals and the elements that we need to go forward in, in the world. We really see the advantage of being the final frontier in a first world jurisdiction. So where you have incredible ESG leadership, uh, you have untapped mineral potential. And so as you're seeing projects advance and resources added to, you're also seeing incredible new discoveries. Uh, so it seems like there's a new light to be shone on Yukon every few years as we do these things. I think there's a nation building opportunity if the infrastructure heads up north of Yukon vis-a-vis -vis electrification. It's a total game changer for the Yukon. It's a greenfields frontier. And we've seen some tier one discoveries being made over the last few years, both in gold and critical minerals, and it's in a safe jurisdiction. If you're looking for some of the best parts of the mining sector, you should look no further than the Yukon in Canada.